Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on conversion factors uh, and we're going to be working with squared units. Okay, so a reminder that units are as important as numbers, so it helps to not drop them when you're working through a question. And uh, we're going to use conversion factors to work through these questions. So in this question, we start with 18 inches squared, and we want to go to centimeters squared. And the conversion factor that we're going to use is 2.54 centimeters, which equals 1 inch. So I start with what I have, which is my 18 inches squared. And I put my multiplication and my line. I want inches squared to be gone, so I put inches squared in the denominator. I want centimeters squared, so I put centimeters squared up here. The problem is I don't know the relationships between centimeters squared and inches squared. So then what I do is I go over here and I say, all right, so I know there's 2.54 centimeters in one inch. I can set it up as a fraction like this. But I want squared units, so what I do is I square the entire thing. And when I do this, everything inside the bracket gets squared. The 2.54 gets squared, centimeters get squared, the 1 gets squared, and the inches get squared. So in the end, I get 6.45 centimeters squared divided by 1 inch squared. And there's my conversion factor. All right? and I already have centimeters squared over inches squared here. All I need is the numbers. So I put my numbers in here, 6.45 and 1. The inches cancel, and the reason is we're multiplying two fractions here. And we're left with 18 times 6.45. So 18 times 6.45 equals 116.1, 116.1, one, one, and our units are centimeters squared. And working through this question, I'm not too concerned about sig figs, so we'll just go with that answer. And if you're concerned about sig figs, then you can just change to the answer. Okay, so the next question. All right, let's say we want to change 452 inches squared to square feet. So again, what we do, and we know that the relationship between feet and inches is that there's 12 inches and one foot. So we start again with what we know, 452 inches squared. Put our multiplication sign, put our line. We want inches squared to be gone, so that goes down here, inches squared. We want to have square feet, so our feet squared go up here. But what's the relationship? We're not sure, okay? So then we say, all right, go over here. We have feet over inches, and I know the relationship is one foot is 12 inches, and I want my units to be squared. So I square the whole thing, and I'm left with one foot squared for 144 inches squared. Now there's the conversion factor. So then I put my 1 there, my 144 here. Again, multiplication of two fractions. So my inches cancel. And I have 452 times 1 foot squared. So on the top, that we have 452 feet squared divided by 144. I do the division. 452 divided by 144 equals 3.14. So we'll go with 3.14 feet squared. Okay? All right, now, next question changing 73 millimeters squared to square centimeters. So we start with, again, our 73 millimeters squared. 
put our multiplication sign, put our line, put millimeters squared down here, and centimeters squared on the top of the dividing line. The relationship with centimeters and, and millimeters, let's put it over here. So we have centimeters over millimeters. The larger one is centimeters, so I say one centimeter is 10 millimeters. Now I want the whole thing squared, so I square it, and I'm left with one centimeter squared over 100 millimeters squared. So one goes here, the 100 goes here, millimeters squared cancels millimeters squared, and I end up with 73 divided by 100, which equals 0 0.73, and we have centimeters squared. And there you go. It's actually pretty easy, okay? Um, all right, and that's that. And that has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a good day. Take care.